guys, so it is time for monthly favorites. I know I said I'd skip every other month, but we're not doing that this month. Nope. I found some things that I like. Harder than you think. I have very few products though, not gonna lie. I only have a couple things to mention, so maybe this will be a shorter video and it'll be a breath of fresh air as opposed to all the other favorites videos maybe. First thing I've been liking is fake nails and these are the kind that you just get at the drugstore, and they are the Kiss Everlasting French kind. I kept the box for you. Look at me being all like a good beauty guru. I really like these nails, um, and they come in two colors, the EF01 and 02. I really like the 01 because if you are going to leave your nails, obviously I paint over them, so it's really not a big deal. But if you are going to leave them as the French manicure, I definitely recommend the 01. They're more of a peachy tone, more opaque in the actual nail color, so when the glue sets on your nail, because it can look a little weird underneath that nail from... From afar it looks okay, but then like right up close it's it's a mess, like a Monet. But I've been liking these. I leave them on for about a week and then I take them off and then I have to buy a whole new kit because they only come with like two tiny, tiny sizes for my pinkies and I have really, really small nails. So this is good for me because I do bite my nails and so when they do come off it's going to be at an okay length for me to paint them myself. Um, and then once I have them painted, I'm fine. And normally it takes about two weeks for me to grow out my nails and long enough for me to paint them. I had these blue at one point, um, but that did not last very long. I can only have black, I swear to God. I had blue on for a couple days and I'm like, it's pretty but I want the black on there. Next up is a perfume. I recently, for my birthday, got another one of these, and I say birthday from 2013, I wanna say, cause my dad, I hadn't seen my dad in so long, and he had got me birthday presents from 2013. Hadn't seen him since, so I went and visited him the other day, and I got um, my birthday presents, so he got me speakers, um, which have been so nice. I've been living without speakers on my computer and literally Ryan and I could not hear any movie at all. We had to be dead silent, no fans on, which is really bad because I don't have AC. And then he got me another Daisy perfume because I was out of my other one that I had for literally five or six years, I wanna say. I had it for a very long time. Um, it's almost gone, but I've been using this one anyway, so I haven't put on perfume yet, so. <sighs> oh. oh. There's a reason why you don't open your mouth when you spray perfume. Anyway, I'll show you what other thing he got. This is like a birthday haul. Are you ready? He got me this piece of artwork, which I really, really love. It's called The Dance, and this is the photographer. I still taste that perfume, man. The photographer, she does all self-portraits. I'll link her Society6 profile down below, but I love, love, love this picture. It is so, so pretty. It's just so me, you know? It's like ghostly and skeleton, I don't know. I guess that's a favorite. And then I recently switched back, well, I switched back because my mom bought it. Uh, I did not, but instead of the pink grapefruit one that I was using for my acne, I switched back to the oil-free acne wash by Neutrogena, just the plain one. And I forgot how much I love this stuff. It's really been effective for my skin. Um, more so, though, I've not been wearing any makeup. Like, I only wear makeup once or twice a week when I film, and then the other days I don't. And it's been so good for my skin. My skin loves not wearing makeup. But my skin also really, really loves this. It's not... It is drying for dry skin, so you have to have a good moisturizer. But other than that, I mean, that's just basic skin knowledge, so... Mm -hmm. On that moisturizer note, um, this is a very hasty favorite because I only just recently got this. My other face cream went missing. I have no idea where it went. It was that L'Oreal, I forget what it even, what it's called. It's in the blue jar and I put it in a favorites video before and that's gone. I don't know where it is. I looked everywhere for it. Um, it's just missing. So I had to go get another moisturizer unfortunately and they were out of that one. So which was $13 and I paid $20 for this, but I like this one better, so that's okay. This is the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector Day and Night Cream. I specifically love that it's a day and night cream because I want a cream that is going to, that I can apply anytime whenever I shower that day. So if I shower at like 4 p.m., is it really worth me putting on sunscreen? My like day moisturizer for that? Not really, so I like that this, you can put it on any time of day, it smells unbelievable. 
It is literally the best smelling thing I've ever put on my skin. And obviously if you're sensitive to perfumes, then not a good product for you. Um, but if you're not, I'm really not, even though I have sensitive skin, um, it, my skin loves L'Oreal products and I didn't think that I would as much, but I don't know. Last two physical items I have to mention are um, two MAC eyeshadows that I've been reaching for quite a lot. These are oldies in my collection. So the first one is MAC Patina, which you guys have seen me use in my recent Get Ready With Me. And um, it's just such a gorgeous golden bronze kind of color that's very neutral for every day. I'm wearing it today. Um, and I'm also wearing this today just on the lash line on lower and upper instead of liner and this is max embark eyeshadow which is just a gorgeous reddish brown which really like goes with my hair i really love this color for blue eyes um it just makes them pow and it looks good with my brown hair so that's an amazing amazing combination that i've been wearing lately i'm obsessed with it oh that's not the last physical item i have to show you that's right we're getting alcoholics up in here no but for real this wine is so good and it's pretty inexpensive um, I'm totally pulling an Erica link by including wine in a favorites video but I figure for those of you who love wine out there as well I love wine a lot um, a lot a lot maybe too much but this is the yellowtail Merlot and oh my gosh representing Australia right here this stuff is so good like it's probably 12 or 13 dollars for this size um, I get the big one because, you know, economy. It's the economy size. I save money, okay? But I can't explain why this is better than other wines. I'm not a connoisseur. I'm not a, you know, I don't know everything there is to know about wine. I just taste it, and if I like it, then I drink it. Like, it's so smooth going down. Some wines can have that really bitter taste that you're just like, I don't know how I'm going to get this whole glass down. But no, this stuff is smooth. It's so good. One thing I want to mention to you guys that I am... I'm kind of upset about not gonna lie my favorite movie of the month for the past couple months since I saw it has been Snowpiercer that is, has to be one of my favorite movies of all time I am NOT even lying and it was released early in another country so I saw it somewhere online and so now they're releasing it in the US for the theater and Ryan and I went to go watch it like we looked online at Fandango and was like trying to find show times for it and it's not playing in my area and it's a limited oh. release so please please check your theater if you have Snowpiercer playing go see it for me in my name it's basically about a train called Snowpiercer and it, they are the last existing people on the planet so there had been an apocalypse and the back of the train holds all the lower class kind of people um, and they live in really bad environments and then as you get farther up the train there's different things for the upper class to enjoy so there's like a nightclub a sushi bar in one cart there's um, an aquarium in one part which was beautiful um, there's a classroom and then you get to the very front where the leader is so it just follows the lower class one person in particular follows him as he's trying to break his way up to the front of the train and it is just so good the trailer does not do it justice at all because oh man that movie my last favorite is a music music my last favorite is a music favorite and that is the band the drums and specifically i like days money and let's go surfing they're just so like peppy summer songs I love them so definitely check those songs out if you've never heard of them but I'm pretty sure they're pretty popular um, I will also link my happy playlist for my Spotify down below I know some of you guys always ask for my Spotify link I figured out how I can share it now I never do before so yay incompetence so I will have the link to that playlist down below if you want to hear what I'm listening to this summer it's basically my summer playlist but I call it happy because it makes me happy. Well, those are all my favorites. Sorry, there's not a lot of like physical object things to show you, but I thought, you know, a couple things was worth making a video about and telling you about Snowpiercer because you really need to go, no, I'm not sponsored by them. That totally sounds like I'm <laughs> promoting a movie that is paying me. No, I wish because I love it that much, but no, it's not, but definitely go watch it. Oh, and another fun fact, I'm making chokers now and I got some already hate for it, but you know what? That's okay because everybody and their mother's making chokers. I there can't just be one but I'm trying to raise a little extra car fund money even though I might be getting a car this upcoming Sunday which oh man I cannot even wait for that um but yeah I'm making chokers now so this is one that I made uh yesterday so it's just on like three little cords with a sun and they are going to have like these kind of clasps 
where it's adjustable, which is really nice. Uh, I'll show you the other ones that I made. There's this one, which is the ohm sign, which is just on a regular like rat tail cord. Um, so I made that one yesterday. I was just basically playing around. I made the first one for myself because I didn't know how I was going to glue it and everything because I did hand make the this part. Like this is just cord and then I put it into the clasp. So mine are handmade, and so I was trying to just experiment with it, really. It didn't come out too well on the sides, like there's still some glue. But anyway, I also made this one, which is a little bat on a chain, which is super cute. A lot of you have been asking, like, not a lot of you, but some of you requested to have chain chokers as well as just regular, um, because not a lot of people sell chain ones, so my mom gave me these, I got two of these little chains, so... I'll make two, um, and then the charms are exchangeable, obviously. I may not keep the bat one on there. I don't know. I have a bunch of charms, really cute ones. I'm really excited to make them. It's a nice hobby, and I really need a new hobby, especially in the summer, because I have nothing to do but make videos and edit them, which isn't bad. I'm not complaining, but I get bored the other days when I don't do those things. Anyway, enough rambling. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.